So let's talk about the kids in the hall. Uh, they've got a documentary coming out. I believe it's in two days. So technically I can't review it here, but we can definitely talk about it. And it's, you know, if you're a fan of the kids in the hall, this is the documentary you want to see. It's, um, I would say it's probably the most straightforward, uh, meaning, you know, structure wise, it's, it's a straightforward linear tale of the kids in the hall, how they got together, um, their success on television, brain candy, and then where they are today. Um, but uh, it's it's amazing to me. I, I think, um, you know, they, they make a lot of bold statements about these guys. And I think it's true. You know, uh, the, you know, they were, you know, uh, the the next real sketch group after Monty Python to really uh, make an impact in the comedy community. And uh, and they dared to it, it's kind of weird, but they dared to take on subjects that comedy wouldn't take on. Um, and weirdly, it wasn't political at all, um, but it was just very much a social commentary. And um, so the, the documentary, you know, it, it does exactly what you want. If you're a fan, you know, this is how they met. Uh, they they were uh, everyone except Scott Thompson were, you know, grew up in Ottawa, in Calgary. Um, they all did theater sports. They formed a team. Ultimately, Scott Thompson comes aboard uh, and then. And then Saturday Night Live comes along and how, you know, that almost, but I'm, I'm saying a lot of public knowledge here. Uh, Saturday Night Live almost breaks them up. And, and then Lauren Michaels realizes, no, we got to bring them back together and then negotiate the television show. Uh, and then to see their evolution of comedy at that point, which leads to Brain Candy, which is a, another fascinating story, because I will say I was not a big fan of Brain Candy. And in this movie, you're going to see why, that movie did not work as well as it had. And then to, to see their lives afterwards and how they ultimately got back together. Um, so, uh, yeah, am I the only fan of Kids in the Hall here? Or how are you guys? Well, I love Absolutely. Kids in the Hall. I, I love Kids in the Hall. All right, let's go around the horn. Bobby, tell, tell me about your Kids in the Hall. Um, I did not know them until I moved back to this country. And um, the first friend I made... Uh, um, happened to live directly across the street from me. Um, met him on a field trip. When One of the first times I was over there, he made some offhand comment, and I didn't understand what he was talking about. The, the reference went over my head. It's like, oh, it's this comedy sketch group. And so uh, he had some episodes on a VHS that he recorded off a of TV, or someone in his family did. Maybe he did. Uh, so we watched a few episodes, and I just instantly fell in love uh, uh, with them. Um, and so since, you know, now for the last 20-ish years, uh, go back, watch some episodes if I can find them, or at least often uh, mess around with my uh, wife. I'll do the I squish your head thing, stuff like that. <laughs> By the way, uh, all five seasons are on Amazon Prime. Are they? That's awesome. Yeah. All right, Brad. Yeah. Hey. It's a good uh, uh, analogy to compare them to Monty Python because that's how it kind of sticks in my mind is, you know, Monty Python had their uneven days. You'd watch some of it and it's like, I, what? But a lot of it really hits right to the core of what's funny right then and there. And then like, you know, 30 years later, you say something. And I've had occasions with Python and with Kids in the Hall where I'll say something. And then later on, I realize that wasn't me. I was quoting Python from ages ago. You know, and I think I'm clever, but I'm not. And uh, th that's how the kids in the hall stuff sticks in your head. There was a, a piece called, uh, there was a song called These Are the Daves I Know. And it was all the, Dave, the Daves <laughs> and, uh, and the squishing your head and all that stuff. They were just very clever and they didn't always hit, but when they did, it was fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Michael, your thoughts? Oh, well, when Kids in the Hall was around in the early 90s and um, I was a vengeful drunk, I did not like them at all. Um, I did not get it. The style of humor just went completely over my head. I just thought that they were just would get out there and be weird and it wasn't really all that funny. But then years later, while working at the video store in um, Austin, um, right about the time it was a new release, um, a manager sat me down and um, forced me to watch Brain Candy. Um, it was um, to cheer me up because it was a 24-hour video store and we had just gotten robbed at gunpoint. And so in order to cheer me up, um, he sat me in front of Brain Candy 
And I laughed my head off. I still think it's one of the most underrated comedies of the 90s. Um, because while I did not get the show, um, I completely got the movie. I thought the movie was great. And then years later, when I moved to Tucson, um, you know, like we were house sitting at a house that had the entire first season on DVD. And I was getting in at like two in the morning from training. And then I'd watch a couple episodes um, before passing out. Um, and my God, they were really funny. I just like, I could not believe that I didn't get this back when it was on. Um, but this stuff is brilliant. Um, and now we've got a, um, the entire complete series, which also includes the Death Comes to Town miniseries that they did later on. Um, but I think, uh, what's, what's the name of God of Mill Springs or something like that? Um, the, 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 um, the DVD place that puts out all of the um, um, DVD like 50 packs, you know, like not Brentwood, um, but, yeah, um, sure. you know, it opens on up and it goes, and you see the little spring right there and stuff. But they put out the entire, um, the complete series on DVD, um, which we um, go ahead and, um, you know, like we wear out that glass TV with kids in the hall reruns. <laughs> That's oh right my thing. goodness! Oh, it's yeah, it's it really it really is being able to um, go ahead and be able to get it after years of not getting it. Plus, also being a rabid Canadian, you know, Canada file, loving all things Canadian. Um, and Kids in the Hall is just you know like very, very, very special. Um, in terms of you know like comedy, you know like comedy groups out there. So. Yeah. yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing this uh, documentary. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it, it should still be in the screener app. That's kind of inside um, information, I guess. I'm, uh, I'm, holding, the, I'm, I'm holding on to my actual official RSVP because my wife will be back from visiting her sister in Texas, and yeah. the wife wants to see it. So we're going to see it on the official online screen for South Absolutely. Southwest. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I will say I had, a, I had the pleasure to uh, – take uh, Kevin McDonald's scre uh, sketch writing workshop in Phoenix uh, oh, at my nice. friend's improv theater. And, um, and as kind of, a, as kind of a pre pre uh, pre festival activity, uh, you know, there was a screening of brain candy and ironically, you know, you're talking about, you know, after getting robbed, you watch brain candy. Um, you know, it, it was, it was a pretty incredible night. And, and I think, um, you know, they 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 go fairly in depth as to the circumstances surrounding brain candy, that that I think you'll find really fascinating in there. Um, let's see. Hey, Goober, thanks for joining us. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, let, let's go to the chat because I know people like the kids in the hall. But are any of the kids in the hall guys at South by Southwest? In fact, all of them will be there for the premiere. I believe it's either tomorrow or Wednesday, but they're. Oh. They will be there for the premiere, and they'll have a they'll have a kind of a, a chat sh chat session, just like the one John Cleese had that that is garnering a lot of buzz. Um, yeah. So, and uh, and I, I don't think there's any spoiler here, but they there is another tour, I believe, in, in the plan. So, cool. uh, you'll be able to see them 